Wait, <laughs> uh, does anyone hear something? Or am I going crazy? Uh, well, I, I hear something. It's the sound of my own voice talking. Um, right in front of your face. Hello, can you see me? Hello? Oh, Paulina, I hear something. Yeah, what do you hear? Something very weird and very headache giving is talking in my ear. That's what I hear. But I don't see anything. I don't know where that source of sound is coming from whatsoever. Um, that wasn't very nice. Uh, hey, uh, you guys know that uh, we normally sit there, right? Do we have to go over this again? Oh, Lillian, there are no assigned seats in this classroom. You don't own these seats. <laughs> yeah, you don't own these seats. Now, go sit in the back. We're sitting up front today. But, <laughs> um, we've always sat in the front and it kind of helps for one of us. I'm not going to say which one because that that's not very nice. But some one of us has very bad eyesight and it's, oh, you poor thing. Let me guess, it's the one of you that has pink hair and wears glasses. Ha, 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 very funny. You know what, guys, let's, let's just go sit in the back. I don't feel like dealing with this today. Who cares if I won't be able to see because it'll be better than getting a headache from these two in the front row. Come on, guys. Sam, you know you need to sit in the front to see. Just come up here and sit next to Paulina and just for this class period. Tomorrow we'll get our seats back. Yeah, tomorrow we'll get our seats back. Um, why did you like repeat that? She literally just said it. You don't have to repeat what she says. You don't have to repeat what she I felt like repeating it, okay, Paulina? Oh, you're really testing my patience today. I'm sorry, guys. I tried getting them to move back with me, but they they were being really weird about it. Oh, it's not your fault, Anne. Paulina just has her weird days and like weird mood swings or something. It's not you. And don't listen to anything she says. She's crazy. Thanks, Lily. Oh, did you hear the news? What news? What's going on? There's a new kid in school. At least that's what the rumors are saying. And, and everyone is saying that it's a boy. Um, where have you been, Anne? Brock has been here for like a month now. Did somebody say Brock? No, 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 it's not Brock. And I know he's been here for a while. I'm not that crazy. But it's another new boy. Oh, well, uh, it's not Brock, so I'm not interested. Although it would be cool if you like skateboarding and stuff to have like a new skateboarding friend to go skateboarding with me and Brock. Uh, whatever, I'm just gonna go sit down now. Oh, how cute. Paulina, do you hear that? They're talking about the new boy. Oh, he is pretty cute. You're not wrong, but um, you three listen up because he is mine. Wait, you've seen him already? Oh, there it is again. What like is that noise? And how do you make it go away? And just ignore her. Good morning, kids. The bell should be ringing any second now. Oh, there it is. Okay, class, get in your seats. We're gonna get started. Okay, I guess I guess I'll go sit in my um seat in the back, away from Sammy. Okay. Don't worry, Sammy. We'll get to sit next to you tomorrow. I promise. Huh, sometimes I really wish I didn't have to wear glasses. All right. It looks like everybody brought their projects from the homework. And now, since you all have them done and finished, I hope, we're going to move on to the next phase. You mean turning them in? Actually, Samantha, I mean presenting them. And why don't you go first? What? I didn't know we were presenting. The presentation is worth... 35% of your score. Only 35? Then I don't think I'm gonna present. Okay then, scratch that. It is now worth 70% of your grade. Thanks to our little friend, Daisy over here. Thank you very much. Now, Samantha, come on up. You're going first. Why can't Daisy go first? Are you not going to present, Samantha? Cause if you're not, I will move on from you and you won't get another chance. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Um, since we had to do a sea creature on our project, I I had to do starfish. That was the sea creature that um that the teacher picked for me. <laughs> Don't cry now. You can do it. I'm not gonna cry. Normally when we present, I have to I have to like work myself up to it. Okay. Samantha, keep going with the presentation, please. Anyways, I got starfish, so I drew um my favorite starfish, Patrick Star from SpongeBob, and the facts that I wrote on it are Wow, you would watch SpongeBob. You're totally that type. Everybody watches SpongeBob. What are you talking about? Anyways, before I was rudely interrupted, Starfish 
have little suction cups on their faces and it makes them stick to stuff really easy and they oh, I'm gonna fall asleep this is like totally boring Paulina if you don't have anything nice to say don't say it at all well someone has to say it um no nobody does <sighs> I think Miss Maya and if she's gonna keep talking I'm gonna go sit down and just lose those 70 points this is not worth it Paulina keep quiet that goes to you too, Daisy. Anyways, my last fact was that starfish are actually really nice and friendly creatures. The end. Woo! Good job, Sammy! Yeah, that's my sister! Alright, uh, Paulina, since you were so eager to talk during Samantha's presentation, you get to go next. Oh no, not next! I didn't, like, totally prepare myself for this presentation. I need to work myself up for it. Mmm! <clears throat> Now that I, like, have everybody's attention. <laughs> it's your favorite, Paulina. Anyways, I had my assignment originally on clownfish, but I, like, ew, totally did not want to do that. So, I changed my topic, and I decided to do seahorses. Paulina, you are not allowed to change your topic by yourself. Miss May, once we get out of this school and make our way up to high school, once we get out of high school, we're going to be on our own. So, I figured why not try to be my individual self and do this on my own. You get the picture? Um, I don't. What is that supposed to be, a worm? No, that's like a seahorse. Patrick Star was better. <sighs> Whatever, anyways. Um, I didn't really write down facts about it. I just drew the picture and drew a bunch of little squiggly lines next to it so it looks like the seahorse is in the water. And that was my seahorse project. Paulina, you did not follow any of the rules and I'm afraid your grade is really going to be hitting that one. That decision you just made. Ugh, what and ever. I need a break of this insanity. Okay, Nova, you can go next. You always have a good presentation up your sleeve. Okay, for my sea creatures project, I got turtles. The sea turtles, of course. And I drew a little diagram of a turtle. And it's pointing to its shell and its tail and its... Um, are you sure that's a turtle? I'm just totally going to ignore that comment. Anyways... I wrote down all of these facts that would take way too long to explain because I'm extra, so I'll just say one of my facts that I wrote down. Ahem, <clears throat> teacher's pet. <clears throat> Still ignoring those weird comments from the front of the room. One of the little facts that I wrote is that turtles, when they feel scared, they hide in their shells. And Miss May, I'm sure you'll love to read all the other facts that I wrote. I did more than two, which was the uh, limit. I'm sorry, I just couldn't help myself. Uh, yeah, because you're a teacher's pet. Thank you, Nova. If I hear any more comments from the front of the room, you three will be sent to the detentions office. Wow, why am I not surprised that I'd be involved with the detentions office? Daisy, why don't you go next? Yeah, why don't I? Okay, I'll go next. Uh, school is a waste of my time. Miss May, can you see my poster far, far from where you're sitting in the very back of the room? I noticed you didn't wear your glasses today, so I'll just go ahead and read this to you. I didn't do it. Happy face. Wow, what an overachiever. <sighs> Daisy, go sit down. I'm going to be calling your parents again after class. I thought you'd be happy to know. Oh, tell them I said hi for me. And why don't you go next? Um, okay. The sea creature that I got was coral and I actually really enjoyed this project because I love the ocean and, 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 and I'm kind of nervous right now I'm sorry you can do it Anne just take deep breaths okay I just I don't want them to, to laugh at me again okay um one of the facts that I put down was that coral grows all throughout the ocean um well yeah that's like a given because it's an ocean creature. And another one that I put was that. Anne, don't cry. Miss May, she said a fact. Let her sit down. She's breaking down up there. And then I went down. <laughs> then you can go and get the coral from. Samantha's right. That's good enough, Anne. Good job. You're fine. Please don't fail me, Miss May. <laughs> I'm trying my best. You're fine. Just go sit down. <laughs> okay. Wow, what a baby. My patience is running very, very thin right now. Well, I guess I'm last. Uh, my creature I got was a puffer fish, and... <laughs> what is that drawing? <laughs> Thank you, Paulina, 
for scream laughing in my ear. Now I'm like deaf. Yeah, Paulina, this is a puffer fish and his name is George. And before you ask, yes, I drew him myself. Get used to it. Anyways, puffer fishes, they puff up when they feel threatened or scared, but they're actually very sweet creatures. So you don't need to feel intimidated if they puff at you. They're doing it just because they're scared. If Anne was a sea creature, she'd be a puffer fish. Anyways, I wrote down more facts, but you only have to say two, so I'm going to go sit down. All right, that was definitely one of the most interesting presentations we've had in this class. I will have you know that I did not appreciate the comments coming from the front of the room. And I will also have you know that if you opened your mouth while others were talking, there were points docked off of your own score, which sadly... Daisy, that was a lot of points taken off from your grade today. Yeah, yeah, tell my dad about it, not me. <sighs> Anyways, after this class, I will no longer tolerate any comments against other students like that was today. You ladies need to treat each other with more respect. Anyways, the recess bell should be ringing any moment now. And there it is. Have fun at recess, kids. Finally, that took forever. Daisy, wait for me. You know I don't like walking fast or any sort of exercise at all. Are you okay, Anne? Don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. They're just a bunch of airheads. Yeah, just don't let it get to you because they don't know what they're talking about. They just like to act this way to get reactions out of people and it, I don't know, just don't let it bother you. Thanks, guys. Really, I'm, I'm okay. I just... My nerves kind of got the best of me up there was all it was, really. Well, just think about the bright stuff there is to look forward to at school. Now there's another new boy. Maybe we'll see him at lunch. Yeah, maybe. I don't see what the big deal about this new guy, though. Because boys are boys. I don't see what the big deal is. It's like having a new girl come in school. How come no one ever makes it a big deal about that? She deserves the attention, too. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, you're right, because... Paulina said that he is all hers, and I wouldn't want to mess with her. Yeah, that's kind of true. Besides, how cute can he really be? He, he could be very cute. Oh, I can picture him now. Red hair, dimples, round glasses, overalls. <laughs> hey, everyone has their own taste in guys. Yeah, he's like Brock. So cute and dreamy. I said it, and I'll say it again. Everybody has their own taste in guys. That's the truth. Come on, guys. Let's go to recess. What if the new guy's there? I'm curious to what he looks like now. I wonder if Brock is his friend. Then we have our way in to talk to him. I hope he's a ginger with freckles. 